Hello my friend, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. In this video, we're gonna say goodbye and good luck to four amigos that just left Chelsea Football Club. So it's gonna continue this way my friend. A lot of money is gonna be saved from their salaries and it's just freeing some space for new players at Chelsea Football Club so one way it's very sad to lose them but in another way it's opening doors to other players to come to Chelsea Football Club so farewell to Christensen, Drinkwater, Musonda and Clark so everybody knows let's start by Andreas Christensen you know I am so disappointed about Andreas Christensen because as you all know I am very supportive when it comes to the academy product always protected this brother even in the middle of the storm you know even when he was faking injuries and we conceded goals his physicality his toilet issues and all that I've been there for the brother, but in the last few months when he refused to talk with Chelsea Football Club and decided to abandon Chelsea altogether, he didn't want to even discuss the contract situation anymore. And uh, in the last few weeks, he even refused entirely to play for Chelsea <laughs> because of some mental issues, quote-unquote. So, my respect is not that much anymore. It's 50% because of what he did. He won us the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Champions League, the, the uh, Europa League, and the Super Cup, the World Cup, and all that. So... You know, a little bit of respect because he's a Chelsea through and through from the academy. And also, he won us a lot of titles. But in the last few months at Chelsea Football Club, he let us down. And I wasn't happy at all about it. So, I'm not going to say good luck to him because we might face uh, Barcelona in the Champions League next season. So, I will, I will say just thank you and see you because we are Chelsea Football Club nobody is bigger than Chelsea people come and go you were a Chelsea Football Club you did your job we paid you a lot of money it end there let's go and talk about another brother here Danny Drinkwater this one I feel really sorry for Drinkwater came in 2017 um didn't play a lot under Conte he played a little bit I think we won even the FA Cup with Danny Drinkwater he was great back then where we bought him because we wanted to make the same midfield uh, they used to have N'Golo Kante and Drinkwater at uh, at uh, Leicester City but the following year under Mauricio Sari Sari told him I don't count on you. You're not gonna uh you're not gonna play. Danny would drink water. I was like, listen, I'm gonna show you that I can play football. So he wanted to prove the manager wrong, but certain manager got a mindset. If they say you're not on my plan, they are not gonna give you even the benefit of the doubt. So he found himself for one entire season training with the first team not playing even one one game because that is Mauricio Sarri he said no it's no no matter how good you are Messi or Ronaldo if he said no you're not gonna play he doesn't just look at you and then after that he started drinking getting in trouble hitting other people's chicks and all that go to court 
We loaned him out here and there. He didn't work out. We completely destroyed the career of Danny Drinkwater. It's sad. He's living on free, but he was on good money. 120k a week. Thank you, Marina Granovskaya. Masterclass. Charlie Musonda. It hurt because this brother I made more than 10 videos praising him, begging the team to give him a chance. He's 25 years old today. You can't even believe. He was just a kid, a baby at Chelsea Football Club. Injuries, man. Injuries. This guy could dribble like Ronaldo. Oh, my goodness. What a lost talent. And he even asked the club to play for free. But Chelsea said, no, we're not going to give you another chance. You have to leave. But listen, last season, we, help, we helped uh, Marco, okay, Van Hinko. He was injured and Chelsea gave him one more year contract just to help him out. But for Charlie Musonda, they refused to do it. Jack Clark Salter. He came as a 16 years old. You can read the whole thing here because it's going to be very, very long. Been loaned out here and there. Championship shipped all over the country. I think it's time for him to go and find a permanent home somewhere. Good luck, Jack. Good luck, Charlie Musonda. And good luck, um, Danny Drinkwater. And for Andreas Christensen, I don't know what to say, but I will say... Just thank you. Not good luck because I don't want you to beat me in the Champions League next season. Come on. I'm not going to wish you good luck, brother. I'm going to just say thank you. Not good luck. We're going to beat you if we meet you in the Champions League. Is that make sense to somebody? All right. So I'm going to just read some of the comment here very quickly before we finish. Official Chelsea have confirmed the departure of Andreas Christensen on a free blah, blah, blah. And uh, hey, before we continue, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share all the good stuff, my friends. Doesn't cost you anything, it just helps your brother a lot. One click, and then you are done. Anyways, as you can tell, he will be announced by Barcelona as a free agent. After us putting all the money, training this brother, making him in this level, and he's living on free. Chelsea are not going to get anything. So for me, now, nah, man, my respect is half, half. Respect for the titles, but for other things, no. Nope. We are Chelsea. We're going to find somebody better than you. Uh, yeah. I mean, people really are angry about Christensen because he didn't use the PR machine. Remember, um, Antonio Rudiger hired the entire company to work on his PR. He made video, professional videos, editors, like professional editor that can clean your image. But we just learned that this guy, Antonio Rudiger, he already agreed like last, last year, like October with Real Madrid. He was just playing games with Chelsea using PR. So I'm not seduced, you know, <laughs> by the PR machine. Oh, look at him, you know, and try to blame Chelsea Football Club for Rudiger's issue. No, I'm not going to do that, my friend. But for Christensen, he doesn't know how to use the PR. He doesn't know how to do it. And that's why he's just so quiet. He just left like a thief. That's why people hate him. But him and Rudiger, same old. They did the same exact thing. The other one knows how to manipulate people by using a good PR. Another one is just silenced and just left and abandoned us when we needed him the most. So, as this guy is saying here in the sign, sign some freaking players. <laughs> Calm, calm down. We're going to sign some players, man. We're going to sign 
announce cuckoo announce 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 there we go congratulations to sam care for winning the women uh the women best player in the division so it is what it is people you make it as you like and uh and i will see you next time <laughs>